What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. This is the video I was not actually expecting to make after using the Google Pixel Fold for so long. The honeymoon is over guys. The honeymoon is definitely over. Um, some, it's really just honestly one frustration and it's something that can definitely be fixed and it probably will be in future updates and maybe I'll roll back to it. But as of right now, there's just one huge thing that's just annoying me about the Google Pixel Fold and I wanna talk about it. And um, I'm switching back to the Galaxy Z Fold 5. So if you've been following my story of using the Galaxy Z Fold 5, I love it. It's a great phone. It's fast, it's fluid, it takes nice photos. It has a nice bright display. It literally does everything that I personally want in a phone. It's not perfect, but it personally, it does basically everything I want in the phone. I'm happy with it. But the one major thing is, that, and it's really annoying me is, uh, one, I, I use this outside display way, way more than I do the inside display. It's insane how much more I use this outside display versus the inside. Like the inside, it's just like, it's great and everything, you know? But the problem is the, there's so many apps that cannot be forced into full screen and or are not built for the Pixel Fold full screen. So it gets really annoying. There's tons. I use Instagram a lot. I'm in there a lot. And this is what it looks like. Here's Instagram. You can see the black edges. I can move it in there and stuff. I can turn it this way and it gets pretty close, but it doesn't get all the way there. And then like, the more I play with my Z Fold 5, look at this. Built for full screen, completely you lower the brightness so it's not as, that's the other thing, the screen is so bright, it's ridiculous. Look at that, it's awesome. Built all the way in, I don't have to flip it or anything, it's all the way full screen. Even you can say, well, what if you're looking at someone's uh, profile? So go into my profile real quick. Where's my profile? Here's Greg, no, that's trying to end it. Greg's profile. Look at it. My profile looks awesome. I can see my old profile, everything's fine. Click on a photo, I can still see it. It's awesome. And then go into Reddit. Let me bring up Reddit on the Z Fold 5. Here's the Z Fold 5. Look at it again. Look, I don't have to flip it. It works great. Here's another, here's, here, let me open up uh, Reddit on here. Look at, normal orientation. It's, uh, yeah, not, all the way there. Flip it around, kinda, but I'm getting to the point I don't have to always rotate my phone just to get a full screen app. And that's one of the pain points of having a wide display. It's great for multitasking, but with regular apps, it doesn't always work. You know, there are wide screen apps or full screen apps. You can see here's the Daily Mail app, the YouTube app. I think all the Google apps are full screen, but there's enough apps on here that are not full screen and it's, annoying me to no end. And it's the reason that uh, I didn't think I'd be going to do it. Like I said, I, I'm going to switch over to the Z Fold 5 and you're saying you're gonna, I haven't done it just yet. I probably will do it by the end of today because I'm waiting for a, a, a grip on the back. I, I love these love handles. I just don't feel like buying another one. They're like 20, 30 bucks and I can get a pop socket, which works fine on the Z Fold 5. Pop sockets don't work good on the Pixel Fold, but on the Fold 5, they work perfectly fine. So I'll pick one of those up for like 10 bucks. Um, and I'll use it on here, but that's, it's one of the big reasons I'm moving over. So but even my wife, she's tired of it too. It's like, we both got kind of tired of it at the same time. And it's what, about two or three months in, it's still a great phone. Don't get me wrong. I love it, but it's annoying with not having full screen apps. And like, that's why I live on the outside display to go back to that. It's like, I live on the outside display because the apps are full screen in there. You know, open up Instagram full screen. But when I open it up here, it's barely bigger than it was before. It's like, what's the point? zero point at that point so it's almost like if you don't mind having some apps not be able to go full screen you have the open one then you're okay or if you're always multitasking you're okay because if you multitask you can I'll, I'll multitask with uh with instagram and we do split screen and then i'll just open up um i'll open up right look at you're fine full screen look at that works great but otherwise man I'm disappointed. I didn't expect to do that. So Z Fold 5, currently I'm going to be going back to it. If something changes, 
I will let you guys know. I'll also, you know, my, let you know um, things that pop up that, you know, I haven't, I haven't really noticed on the Pixel Fold that I like or didn't like on the Z Fold 5 as, as I continue that journey. I like telling you guys what's going on. So let me know your thoughts about it. Have you switched from the Pixel Fold back to the Z Fold 5? And uh, maybe there'll be more reasons once I am on the Z Fold 5 where I'm like, you know what? I like this so much better because now it's going to be my daily daily. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.